Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is good. Hallelujah. It's good to be here back in Halifax, Nova Scotia, magnifying the name that is above every name, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. God is so good. The Bible says here in Matthew's Gospel, chapter number three. Amen. And of course, reading from the King James Bible, the Bible says, I want to pray before we start. Father, I pray you just touch all those Oh God, that are listening to the sound of my voice, let your name be glorified, magnified, and exalted. Lord, I give you thanks. Lord, I give you all the praise. Save souls. Let people understand that the time is now to get saved, God, because we don't know when the last day of our life will be. And so, Lord, I pray that all those who are listening to the sound of my voice will hear the word of God. Repent of their sins who are not saved and trust the Lord Jesus Christ alone for salvation. Lord, we give you thanks and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says here in, in uh, Matthew's Gospel, chapter number 3, amen. Hallelujah. It says here in verse 7, But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth therefore fruits, meet for repentance, and think not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Praise God. The Bible says, Amen, the axe is laid to the root of the tree. And that refers to the judgment of God. God's judgment is about to come. People don't realize that. And the reason why God's judgment is about to come is because we've sinned against a holy, righteous God. Amen. Not talking about a figment of the imagination or a fairy tale or a myth. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is the one and only true God. He created the heavens and the earth. Amen. He created you and me. Your body has DNA. DNA is information. Amen. And so you're, you're, there's an intelligent design. Amen. An intelligent designer that designed your body, that made you. If there is a creation, there must be a creator. If there is design, there must be a designer. If there is a maker, there must be a maker. That creator, that designer, and that maker is God. The God of the Holy Bible. And the Bible says the Lord Jesus Christ is God. Amen. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. And the Word was God. And He made all things. Who? The Lord Jesus Christ. He made you and me. All things visible and invisible. And the Bible says very clearly that we sinned against God. And that's why God is angry. That's why God's wrath is upon sinful mankind. Romans chapter 1 says that God's wrath is upon all unrighteousness of men. And every one of us, while we were made, amen, all of us in the image of God, and God made man, Adam and Eve, amen, he made them without sin, amen. But because of the fall, Sin entered into the human race. And now the Bible says the wages of sin is death. It doesn't lead to heaven. It leads to hell. But thank God the gift of God is eternal life. Hallelujah. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The gift of God is for you and for me. It's eternal life. That's why I have good news right now. That even though the axe is laid to the root of the tree, you can be saved today. You don't have to go to a horrible place the Bible calls hell. You can go to heaven. Thank God. And the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We've all sinned, every one of us. Amen. The Bible teaches there's only one race, the human race. There's no black, there's no white, and there's no red or yellow. Even though there is that, we see that there's different ethnicities. But there's no different races. There's only one race, the human race. And that's why Christ died for all of us us amen all mankind no matter who you are but the bible says the wages of sin is death and what is sin lying is sin stealing is sin the bible teaches homosexuality is sin the bible teaches transgenderism is sin the bible teaches lesbianism is sin the bible teaches bisexuality is sin the bible teaches adultery is sin the bible teaches fornication is sin but the good news that you can be free from your sins through jesus christ of nazareth god will forgive you if you come to him and repent of all your iniquity your abomination god will have mercy upon you 
Hallelujah. But if you say with arrogance, I'm not going to repent. I'm going to put my face, amen, up in the face of God with arrogance, then God will judge you. Doesn't matter what the government of Canada tells you. It doesn't matter, amen, what your friends tell you, what the courts tell you. It matters what Jesus Christ of Nazareth says. It matters what the Supreme Court of Heaven says. That's what's going to last, amen. That's what's going to stand on the day of judgment. Not what man says, but what God says. Amen. And that's why people got to get right with the Lord. Why? Because the axe is laid to the root of the tree. Judgment is coming. Jesus is coming. God's wrath is about to be poured upon this earth. And people think it's a joke. It's not a joke. That's why Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He shed his blood on that cross 2,000 years ago. Why? Because the Bible says, For God so loved the world, amen, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him uh, shall not perish, shall not perish, but have everlasting life. You can have everlasting life today. But it's up to you to repent of your sins and trust the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord. The Bible says you need to bring forth fruit, meat for repentance. What is repentance? Repentance means you've got to change your mind. That results in a change of action. You change your mind, that results in a change of action. That means you'll be sorry for your sins. You change your mind concerning your sin. You think that you're right, but then you say, no, God, you're right. I'm wrong. So you change your mind concerning stealing. You, you think stealing's right, but then you say, no, it's not. God, you're right. Stealing's wrong. Then you may think, oh, well, it's okay to be a homosexual, but you say, Lord, my view is wrong. Your view is right. It's sin, even though the world thinks it's right, even though the government thinks it's right. Amen. Even though the government may want to eventually put people like me in prison it doesn't matter but it matters what God said because God is going to rule and reign this earth, on this earth for a thousand years and then for all eternity the Lord Jesus Christ it doesn't matter what the world says it matters what he says amen that's why the Bible says repent for the kingdom of God is ahead it means you need to repent now because there's a coming kingdom, amen, that's coming. And that's the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. And that's why God wants you to be ready to meet him because judgment is coming. And the only way to escape the judgment of God is through the Lord Jesus Christ. is by repenting of your sins and receiving him by faith to be your savior. And Lord, here Halifax and around the world, it's time to escape the wrath of God. The Bible says hell is a real place. Where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth, and where the worm will never die and the fire will never be quenched. All oh, that scare tactics. No, it's love tactic. It's telling you the truth. Love, the Bible says, rejoices not in iniquity or sin, but rejoices in the truth. Love rejoices in the truth by telling you what's right because God doesn't want you to die in your sin. The Bible says that God is not willing that any should perish, but all come to repentance of their sin and trust Jesus Christ as their Savior, Lord, because the wrath of God is about to be poured upon this earth. That's why Jesus died, that you could be saved from hell and be given everlasting life. That's why he rose again from the dead. Amen. And went to heaven. He's alive forevermore. But the Bible says there's only one way to heaven. It's not your religion. Amen. It's not your church. It's not me. It's not the Pope, it's not Mary, it's not the saints, amen. It's not Buddha, Muhammad, Krishna, or Confucius. The Bible says it's only the Lord Jesus Christ that can save you. The Bible teaches it. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there's none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. It's only through Jesus Christ that you can be saved today, my friend. It's only by his blood that you can be redeemed. And the Bible says, whosoever shall call, hallelujah, upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved. You can be saved today, but it's only through the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth by which you can be saved today. There's no other way to heaven but through Jesus Christ. That's why he died. I'm not here to talk about religion. Religion can't save you. You need salvation. A lot of people have religion, but they don't have salvation. You need to be born again. The Bible says, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. You need to have a second birth from above. And that's only through the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Doesn't matter what you've done. Amen. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Doesn't matter what you've done. The Lord will redeem you from your sins. Amen. Hallelujah. But you've got to repent. 
You gotta come to Christ. He's the only way to heaven, the only escape from hell. That means you gotta turn from your homosexuality, turn from your lesbianism, turn from your bisexuality, turn from your transgenderism, turn from your cross dressing, turn from your cursing, your swearing, turn from your racism, amen. Turn it from your turn from your stealing, you turn from your murder. Turn from murdering people. Well, even even means murdering babies. Turn from your abortion. Because the Bible says abortion is first degree murder. It's not, amen. Woman's health care. It is first degree murder. Murdering innocent blood. It's called sin. It doesn't matter what this nation does, Canada will be facing the judgment of Almighty God as a result of killing innocent blood. It's an abomination in the sight of Almighty God. It's not right, but God will forgive you if you committed abortion. God loves you. God will forgive you if you repent of it, but it's still murder. you got to come to him and say, Lord, forgive me of my sins. Forgive me for what I've done, and the Lord will forgive you, but you got to repent. So the Bible says the axe is laid unto the root of the tree. That means God's judgment is right there to chop down all those who refuse to repent. But that's why the Bible says, amen, today is a day of salvation. Because tomorrow may be too late, my friend. Today is a day of salvation. You may say, oh, I don't believe the Bible. I believe it's a bunch of fairy tales. Really? Have you ever looked at the Bible, the evidence of the Bible? Have you looked at the evidence of the Bible? Amen? How the Bible has proven itself to be true by history, archaeology, Bible prophecy, and the eyewitness accounts of Jesus Christ's death, his burial, and resurrection from the dead. Praise the Lord. Amen. There was a man by the name of Simon Greenleaf. I preach this almost every time I'm out preaching. Simon Greenleaf was one of the founders of the Harvard School of Law there in Boston, Massachusetts. Amen. He went on to investigate in the 1800s the reliability or the truth of the resurrection of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Simon Greenleaf, look him up. And he, found, he looked at all the eyewitness accounts as revealed in the New Testament. Amen. And then he looked at he meant, the credibility of the eyewitnesses, among other things. His conclusion was that the resurrection of Jesus Christ of Nazareth was one of the most foundational proofs of history that he rose up from the dead. Hallelujah, Jesus Christ. This is not a fairy tale of fantasy. This is the truth of the gospel. Christ died and rose again. And that's why you must be born again. God's wrath is about to be poured upon this earth. Before that happens, the Bible talks about the rapture. Ever heard of the rapture before? The rapture of the church, amen? The rapture of the church talks about those who, amen, go up to be in heaven with the Lord Jesus Christ, amen? That's what the rapture of the church talks about. Those who are truly born again, those who are truly saved, those who are truly know Christ as Savior. And praise God, that's what's going to happen. Mil millions of people will be missing around, around the world because they were born again, amen? And that's why you need to know Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. We're allowed to be here, sir. This is, the, this is, what, the, this is what the law tells us. We, it's called freedom of religion and freedom of speech. It's taught, it's taught this, the, uh, the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Amen. Because you don't want to hear the preaching of the gospel. But the Bible is here because it's good. We have the word of God because the Bible talks about it. Amen. Hallelujah. But we have to preach the gospel to every creature. Amen. This is what the Bible says. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. And he that believeth not shall be damned. Be damned to hell. God does not want you to be damned to hell. He wants you to be saved. He wants you to know Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord. And be ready to go to heaven and not go to hell. That's the good news. But today the axe is laid to the root of the tree. If you want to know Jesus Christ today, you can know him. You can be saved by the grace of God. You can be ready to go to heaven and not go to hell. That's the good news today. Hallelujah. Amen. That God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. 
Doesn't matter if you're black, doesn't matter if you're white, doesn't matter if you're Asian, doesn't matter what, what language you speak, it doesn't matter what country you're from, God loves you, Christ died on the cross for your sins, that you can be saved today from hell and be given everlasting life. But sadly, tragically, most people don't go to heaven, most people go to hell. Jesus Christ said in Matthew's Gospel, chapter number 7, amen, hallelujah, verse 13, he said, he said, enter ye in at the straight gate, because wide is the gate and broad is a way that leadeth to destruction and many be there be that go in there at that means hell but he says straight is the gate and narrow is the way that leadeth to life but few that be that find a few find the way to heaven because they don't want to repent they want to get there on their own way but the bible says there's a way that seemeth right unto a man but the end the of the ways of death you may think oh, i'll get to heaven my own way you can't get there my friend only through Jesus Christ can you get there. And the Holy Spirit of God convicts you of your sins because God doesn't want you to go to hell. He wants you to repent of your sin. Amen. Tells you what that preacher is saying, right? Because it's according to the Bible. You need to get right with God today. The axe is laid to the root of the tree. It's time to repent of your sins and come to Jesus Christ today. God will forgive you of all your sins and he'll give you everlasting life if you give your life to Jesus Christ. He will save you. He will forgive you and he'll give you everlasting life. You do not know Jesus Christ. You can be saved today. Today is a day of salvation. Tomorrow may be too late, my friend. I wanted to pray with you if you want to give your life to Christ and be saved through the Lord Jesus Christ today. Turn from your sins and come to Jesus today. He's the only way to heaven. The only escape from an eternity in hell. Yes, hell is real. You may think, oh, no, it's not because my preacher tells me it's not real. Oh, well, what does the Bible say? Doesn't matter what your preacher says or what your church says. What does the Bible say? The Bible is God's word. The only word of God, by the way. The only word of Almighty God is the Holy Scriptures themselves, the Holy Bible. And that's why you need to get right with God and be saved. Turn from your gambling. Turn from your alcohol. Amen. Turn from your cigarettes, turn from your pornography, your child pornography, all that perversion. Turn from your homosexuality, turn from your lesbianism, turn from your transgenderism, turn from your cross-dressing, come to Jesus Christ, turn from your adultery, turn from your divorce and your, and your remarriage condition, turn from your fornication, amen, turn from your racism, turn from your hatred, turn to Christ and receive his love and his mercy. This is not hate speech, this is love speech telling you to get right with God and to flee from the wrath that is to come through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son but whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Thank God for Jesus that he died for your sins that you can be saved from hell and be given everlasting life. Praise God. Hallelujah. Today's a day of salvation. Tomorrow may be too late. Praise God. Come to Jesus today and be saved by his grace. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God.